Hello again. Well, guess what arrived in the post today? Wow. The two new impulse releases from Acoustic Sounds, part of the UM series, Ray Charles, Genius Plus Soul Equals Jazz, and the Gil Evans Orchestra, Out of the Cool. And I have to say, I my, when, they, when I opened up the box, I bought these from Amazon, so they, they both came together from Amazon. I pre-ordered them ages ago. I think you can still get them on Amazon. When I opened the box, my jaw dropped. I mean, these are absolutely beautiful releases. I'm not sure if you can see. I'll get one down here. There's the Ray Charles one. I've taken the sleeve uh, that it came in off. That's just a generic sleeve with an impulse sticker, the UME series sticker as well. And I've, I've kind of done a, a double gatefold job with uh, two sleeves here. But it, it's as glo it's, it looks glossy. Well, that it, 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 even without the sleeve, it's really super glossy. They've done an absolutely top-notch job with the, uh, the cover. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's just a beautiful thing to behold. I played the first side. Wow, just sounds really good. The instruments jump out of the speakers. Um, Ray Charles is center on organ and uh, uh, fantastic. Fan and great arrangement by Quincy Jones and Ralph Burns. Beautiful, beautiful release. Unbelievable. Um, actually, there's a version of Moaning, track three on side one, which is really, really cool to listen to. Um, so they have, again, like with all the, uh, the, the UME reissues, they've knocked it out of the park. I've got the Oscar Peterson and uh, Meets Louis Armstrong release, which is fantastic. I've got Pastel Blues, uh, Nina Simone's Pastel Blues, which is also fantastic. They just keep knocking it out of the park. And then Gil Evans, Out of the Cool. Again, I took it out of the sleeve. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful glossy sleeve. Oh my God, if only Blue Note were doing this with, the, with their classic series, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Um, this is, I've, I, I listened to side one of this. I mean, ah, this just sounds awesome. As you can see here, there's lots going on. There's all sorts, it's a whole orchestra here. Um, Alvin Jones on drums, interestingly enough. Uh, but uh, there's a whole orchestra, so there's lots going on in the mix. But every instrument, kind of is, is, is in its own space in the recording. It's beautifully recorded. Um, and it's like, I liken it to a Technicolor movie. When movies first came out in Technicolor, they were vivid. They were amazing and beautiful to look at. Um, and this kind of reminds me of that. It's, it's a Technicolor presentation. There's so much going on and it's not hidden in the mix. It's not like a muddy mix where it's hard to, to, to kind of pick out one instrument from another. There's so much going on, but it's it's because it's so beautifully recorded, um, it's just a really amazing, exciting, interesting listen. And uh, they recorded it beautifully. Not only that, the vinyl, actually the vinyl on both these issues, so quiet, so quiet, really, really did a good job. Knocked it out the park once again. Um, well done, Acoustic Sounds, it's just, this, this reissue series just keeps getting better and better. Can't wait for the Bill Evans, the two Bill Evans trio releases, uh, which are coming out um, in the not too distant future. Um, really, they really are absolutely setting the bar really high uh, with these releases. <clears throat> so keep them coming, Acoustic Sounds. It's just doing a great job. Whilst, whilst you can see them, I'll just quickly mention that I, I had a couple of, uh, I ordered a couple of Sam records of records from Sam Records rather, um, about two weeks ago. These are fantastic, really fantastic. If you haven't checked out Sam Records, you must check them out. Now, they do go out of print, but they reprint them. I think uh, Jazz Sur Sen um, is awaiting a repress um, in July. And you can you can currently order uh, Ron Jefferson Choir, which I thought was a choir, stupidly enough. Of course, it, it's not. It's a, it's a uh, jazz, it's uh, a jazz trio, uh, guitar, bass and drums, and um, kind of reminds me a little of uh, Kenny Burrell, but like Kenny Burrell on something, I don't know, <laughs> Kenny Burrell smoking something, it kind of reminded me of, uh, but really good, a bit different, a bit different, and Jazz Sur is is is, is 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 a really lovely record. Um, they're both in mono, they're both mono recordings, but 
I tell you what, you wouldn't on a few tracks. You, you, you it's almost like oh, forget the fact that it's mono. It just sounds great. Sounds fantastic. Um, and but I would say actually probably the quietest pressings that I own. I mean, so quiet that the the music just kind of appears out of nowhere. It's such a black background. I mean, that's a really cheesy thing to say, but if you if you read hi-fi magazines, which I do, and they talk about turntables and how it's a black background, well, oh my God, like there's not, you you would never know unless you, if you weren't listening for it, that these were, that you were listening to vinyl, it's that quiet. Um, so yeah, really fantastic, uh, really fantastic release by Acoustic Sounds. I'm, I'm so impressed, you know, and you don't have to spend mega bucks either, which just makes it even better. Um, but yeah, that's enough from me. If you can, if you, I really recommend you get the, uh, these two, these two here, the Ray Charles and the Gil Evans, um, order them while you can before they go like the, like the Love Supreme went. These are going to go, but they're fantastic. They're awesome. Can't recommend them highly enough. Anyway, thanks for listening. Keep spinning those records.